lady sheds of teddy bears. Welcome to RAF Mildenhall, and we have a very different aircraft here. What is it doing here, and what is its purpose? Well, it's here to check and calibrate navigational aids. Now, navigational aids and radar systems are vital at any aerodrome and to assist pilots when needing to use IFR, instrument flight rules. Pilots will use IFR when there is horrible weather or low cloud base. Sometimes we hear pilots use ILS-06, for example at RAF Lake Neve, the pilot is using IFR. Accuracy of equipment, just like any other mechanical or electrical instrument, it needs checking from time to time to make sure that it is functional and fine-tuned to accuracy just like strings on a guitar from time to time. It may get out of tune, but how do you calibrate the ILS and other radar systems around the aerodrome? Well, the simple answer is to use a calibration aircraft. This is exactly that. Now, a calibration aircraft in aviation is a specialized aircraft used to calibrate and maintain the accuracy of navigational aids such as the instrument landing system, ILS, radar systems, the PAR and other navigational aids around the aerodrome. Look at this shot. This aircraft is a 2009 Bombardier CL600 Challenger of the Federal Aviation Administration, or simply the FAA. It is in fact a calibration aircraft. Now it will check all the instruments, navigational aids and other radar systems and will go within Milden Hall's radar perimeters. The concept of instruments is to guide aircraft safely into land and one of these instruments that we've mentioned is the ILS. Now the ILS instrument landing system is a ground-based radio navigation system sending lateral and vertical guidance towards the runway. Frequencies are sent from the localizer to the aircraft's ILS receiver. Now there are two antennas that send out one tunable frequency. The localizer antenna built out of directional antennas the Challenger will then be checking and calibrated the frequencies of the ILS. Now to learn a little bit more about the ILS and how it helps the pilot, the ILS sends a frequency beam to the left of the center line, let's say 90 hertz, then another frequency to the right of the center line, 150 hertz. Now a pilot during landing will line up these frequencies when landing. The pilot will see a diamond on their PFD, that's primary flight display, or ADI or HSI. So the calibrating aircraft will be checking the accuracy of these frequencies. TACAN and also the PAR, Precision Approach Radar, is also calibrated. The PAR are used by air traffic controllers to issue guidance to pilots during final approach using radio. to see two different perspectives now.
So you'll see calibration aircraft doing lots and lots of circuits. Now at RAF Coningsby for example, they use a different aircraft. They use a diamond aircraft, but we'll feature this in another show. We've seen in the video the Challenger doing a number of circuits and approaches and when we were here we seen the Challenger go off for about 10 to 20 minutes and come back. Well ladies, gents and teddy bears we've put together the whole flight path using ADS-B so you can see exactly its whole flight plan. <laughs> Go, 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 go. 